Edward, it's supposed to be Mace R&D Automotive Machine Shop. Today we're going to be sticking some cam bearings into a 428 Ford that's going into a Shelby 500 GT. Uh, we're going to put a set of uh, bimetal bearings in that have a soft Babbitt face and a steel outside. And to do that, we're going to use a cam bearing installation tool, which is pretty much common for the industry. This one here will accommodate a lot of different sizes of different bearings. So let's get started. I arranged the bearings in the box so that they'll go in in the order that I need to put them in so that they'll go in the correct position. One of the things you want to always check when you have a box of cam bearings is to make sure that each cam bearing is in the right location so that when you install them, they'll be correct. You'll notice on the cam bearing that they do have a small hole. This one has a slot and that will need to be lined up with one of the oil holes in the block to make sure that we get oil to the cam bearing. We're going to line the hole in the cam bearing with a hole in the block like so and what you're not going to be able to see is me taking a hammer and knocking this thing in. stop there and we'll take the tool out and now we have to check to make sure that our oil holes are lined up correctly. To uh, check and see that I have my oil hole correctly aligned I've just made up a simple tool out of a piece of mechanics wire that's 16 gauge or about 60 thousandths in diameter. And I'll take and put that into the hole and sure enough as you can see, it slides in and out of the block and the bearing. All right, I'll continue putting the rest of the cam bearings in, and then we'll come back and we'll fit the cam and make sure that it fits correctly. For the last bearing, I'm going to use a short handled driver that will make it much easier than trying to hold a big long stick out there in space and try to get it lined up correctly. Test piece. Make sure that everything fits. Has the line correctly, and we're looking good here. On some blocks, you'll actually be able to see all the way down through the oil gallery and check to see that everything is aligned correctly. And as you can see on some of these, we can actually do that. I'm going to take a little bit of light oil and put on the bearing journals. So when I slide the cam in, I won't pick up any metal off the cam, which is something that we don't want to do. Don't want to nick it up or anything. So once we've got the oil on here, then we'll take the cam and stick it in.
As you can see, the camshaft turns real nice and easy, just like we want it. Well, now I'm ready to take the camshaft out, clean it, and then get it prepped for final installation. John Edwards, Costa Mesa R&D Automotive Machine Shop. I'll see you soon.